Hey guys, Nova here with a uh, tutorial for Feed the Beast uh, Blaze Farm, which allows you to produce around uh, 6,000 EU per second. And it's very resource efficient and quick to make. So, the way you do it is you have a soul cage up there with a tier 5 blaze spawner, with a tier 5 soul shard for blaze. And you have them have the blaze just fall down into some water. Now, I've seen a few of these around in people's LPs and things like that, but they've not always done them very efficiently. And I just want to show you how to make them as efficient as possible. And the basis of that is having the blaze actually fall down 16 blocks before you start killing them. So, therefore, more blaze can spawn up there while you're killing these down here. As there's a mob cap on the amount of mobs spawned by a spawner, which can be in a spawner's area. So, this just sort of bypasses that fairly well. And you can see that by just all these blaze dying and us collecting lots and lots of blaze rods. So, you can see very fast. Each one produces 6,000 EU and 2.4k heat. So, and it do, the speed does vary quite a bit. As you can see it didn't go up much there, but then before it went up loads. So, I'm just going to do a quick explanation on how to build this. So, let's just go to peaceful to make everything easier. Let's see? And we'll just fly up here. So, we just go inside and break these. Now, this uh, blaze spawner, we need, um, if you look below my map, you'll see the coordinates. And we need both those coordinates to decrease um, when we go in a direction. So we just need to find that right direction where both coordinates decrease. So it's this direction here. As you can see in my plus um, coordinate is going down and my um, my minus coordinate is getting bigger but it's still going down since it's a minus if you get what I mean so we choose that one then we whoop, whoops then we get a block of our choice we fly up and we just place blocks like that and we need this to go to four four diagonally away and that will be three diagonally this way as you can see and yeah and then you just make a sort of square around that you do rectangle and that's basically the maximum spawning area of the blaze now so you've maximized every spawning space while maximizing your area at the same time so you don't waste space. Now from that we just block off that and just to make sure that no blazes spawn on top of the spawner so that like one doesn't get trapped and then it decreases our spawn chance of more blaze we just have to simply build a bit of a pillar up like that and then no blaze can spawn on there and they will all fall down. When they fall down, 16 blocks down to here, they will fall in the water and they will quite quickly get killed going down into this central part, this water stream here, which just collects all the items into an obsidian pipe going into a chest. Important thing about this water stream is make sure the water sources are one block back away from the actual falling area, otherwise some blaze can get uh, stuck inside the water sources, water source blocks, and their items get stuck in there when they die, so you're wasting some items, which is never good. So that's the basis of this tutorial, and we can just hop out of here, and I can show you how it, just show you it still works. So hard, there you go. 
it'll start falling very quickly and this works very well as the blaze spawn every two seconds and the falling time is about two seconds for them to start getting out of range and not reaching the mob cap until they're out of range so it works well cheap efficient and cheaty <laughs> so thanks for watching guys uh, please tell me your opinions down below on how you like these sort of tutorials um, so I'll probably be doing a few of them some better ones um, for resource gathering and things like that so I'll see you guys soon and bye bye